Hello Rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building Union Pacific 1995, the Chicago Northwestern Heritage Unit. And this is an SD70 Ace, so let's get right into the build here. So the first step is to take a dark oak stair for the coupler on the rear end, get that attached up. Underneath it, a dark oak fence gate and then dark oak fences on either side of the coupler. In front of that on bottom, we need to get three yellow concrete coming across the rails. On the outside edges of it, an upside down oak stair facing outward on each side. Then five yellow concrete above that. Then on each side of that in between here, we're gonna put a dark oak button here and here. Next, we'll swing around in front of it. In the middle, make a three block tall T-shaped pattern. And then we'll put an end rod on bottom above each rail. In front of that, we're gonna do a five by three of yellow concrete, coming out to each side of the rails. Then we're gonna take smooth quartz slabs, three of them coming up here to be the stairs, three across this back front here, and three coming up to be the stairs on this side. Now we'll do our wheels, so come in front of this, down on the rails, one block forward from it, another right on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to put upside down stone brick stairs in a back to back T-shaped pattern that's five blocks wide. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then another set of stone brick stairs upside down in a back to back T-shaped pattern that's five blocks wide. Then a final set of wheels with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gate into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels on this side here. Then on the second layer, we're gonna fill the top middle three with smooth stone blocks, and we're gonna bring that down the length of the truck. We'll also do it on the third layer, three blocks wide. And we're actually gonna bring it out one block past where those fence gates are on bottom. Just like that. On bottom, we're going to put three stone brick blocks. Coming off the outside of that, we're going to put upside down, outward facing stone brick stairs, and a line that's 17 blocks long in total. Once we have 17 blocks, three stone brick blocks across this end. Do the same thing on this side, upside down stone brick stairs, facing outward in a line that's 17 blocks long until it connects up on this side and frames in the bottom of our fuel tank here. Then we'll go back to smooth stone blocks and we'll fill in the top middle three down the length of the fuel tank. Bring it right down to the end of it here. For now, we'll stop right there, and we'll also fill in the top middle three on the third layer up. Then my front end's gonna face the void here, making this the conductor side. So on the conductor side, above these stairs, we're gonna put a full line of stone brick blocks down to the end of it to finish the top of the fuel tank. Then we'll do our next set of wheels, so skip one block forward from the fuel tank, another right on each rail with an end rod axle. Then same as on the other truck, upside down, stone brick stairs, five blocks wide in a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. And then another set of upside down stone brick stairs, five wide, and a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern here. In front of that, a final set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels down here. Then on top, we'll fill this second layer three wide on the top middle three with smooth stone blocks and we'll come down above where the fence gates are on this end. We'll also fill in the top middle three on the third layer here. 
in front of that, we're going to make a 5 by 3 of dark prismarine blocks coming out to each side of the rails. In front of that, a T-shape in the middle with an end rod on bottom above each rail. In front of that, three dark prismarine stairs coming across the middle and an upside down outward facing stair on either side. On the next layer, a block in the middle and a two upside down stairs facing forward on either side. Then three smooth quartz slabs across the top middle, three slabs coming up the side here to be stairs, and three smooth quartz slabs coming up this side. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and get it stacked up to the second block. Delete the one we used for placement, a dark oak fence underneath it, and open dark oak fence gates on either side. Next, come on the sides of the trucks here, and we're going to put a stone brick slab above each wheel. Same thing on this truck, slabs above the wheels. Then we do the other side, slabs above these three wheels, one more corner to go. Stone brick slabs above these three wheels. Then we're going to swing around underneath, and in front of each wheel on the side, we're going to hang an upside down grindstone. Same thing down here, grindstones in front of these wheels. And then we'll do the other side. Grindstones in front of all three of these wheels. One more corner to go here. Grindstones in front of all three of these wheels. Then we're going to come to the back of the fuel tank on this side. On the second block up behind it, a brewing stand right here, then five sideways anvils, then a crimson sign, a player head, a crimson button, then sideways anvils all the way to the front of the fuel tank for the other air tank. Then we're going to put a bell right here above this truck. Then we'll come over to the other side. We have to do the fuel cap over here. So coming from the back of the fuel tank, on the sixth block in, a crimson sign, and then we need a player head on there and a crimson button. Then we're going to take out a chain. Put a chain in each of these two gaps up here. A chain in between here and here. A chain here. And a chain in these two gaps over here. Then we're going to go on the very top outside edge and run a line of smooth quartz slabs end to end on both sides. Now we'll come up and we'll work on the front end. So on top of the front, on the third block back, we're going to take out a birch door and we're going to put that on the inside left hand block. Right here. Then dark prismarine coming across the front all around the door. Then a layer of yellow concrete. And then three yellow concrete on the top middle. And an oak stair on each side facing forward like this. Come around the side, dark prismarine on each side. Then a yellow concrete. Then an outward facing oak stair on each side. Fill in the top of the nose with yellow concrete. Then behind that on bottom, we're going to put a dark prismarine block two outward facing dark prismarine stairs and another block. Same thing over here. Above that we're going to put one yellow concrete on the front, two dark prismarine on the back, and in this gap an upside down dark prismarine stair facing forward on each side. Then on the next level starting from the back we're going to do three dark prismarine blocks coming forward and an upside down dark prismarine stair facing forward like this. Same thing over here. Then coming across the front here, two cyan stained glass, dark prismarine, two cyan stained glass. Then a white stained glass pane on the outside edge, and same thing over here for a rear view mirror. Then two cyan stained glass panes for the side windows on each side, and a dark prismarine behind it. Then we'll fill in the top middle three of this whole cab roof, with dark prismarine. And then dark prismarine stairs facing outwards coming across the top of the windows here. Same thing on this other side. 
Next, come on top behind the cab, and coming off the very middle block, we're going to run seven dark prismarine up the middle. Behind that, we're going to put two cobbled deep slate with two iron bars on each side of the cobbled deep slate. Behind that, a smoker for the exhaust, dark prismarine on each side of it, and three coming across behind it. On this conductor side, we're going to do a full line of dark prismarine on this outside edge up to the cap. Skip one block forward from the iron bars and we're going to put four green stained glass panes and then a ladder in front of it. On this other side, one dark prismarine, a sideways observer, and dark prismarine all the way up to the cap. Then come back here around this exhaust. We're going to put dark prismarine slabs in a C-shape. And then in front of it, we're going to start filling the roof in three wide with warp trap doors. And we're going to bring that all the way forward to just behind the cab. On top of the cab in the center, we're going to put a player head, two smooth quartz slabs, and on that back right, a green candle. Come over to the engineer side here, starting behind the cab. And one block in from the outside, we're going to put seven dark prismarine on bottom. We'll do the same thing on the other side, just like this. Then we're going to put a dark prismarine stair facing this way with a yellow concrete in between. Behind that, three yellow concrete on each side. Then we'll do the next layer. So right here in front of that stair, another stair facing that way. Yellow concrete in between it, and then yellow concrete down to the end of this on each side. Up here, dark prismarine up to the cap. Same thing on that side. Then we're going to put a warp door right there next to the cab. And then continue our staircase of dark prismarine coming up right there. And dark prismarine up to the door. Come around here, get a yellow concrete on the side of that stair we just placed. And another stair on this side. And then dark prismarine to fill in that gap. Then fill in the rest of this to the back of this section with yellow concrete on each side. Then on this top layer, a full line of dark prismarine coming to the back of it. And we'll do the same thing over here. Start by that door, a full line of dark prismarine coming to the back of this section. Then we're going to come down here in front of the door. On the bottom, starting right by the cab, we're going to put six dark prismarine coming back. And then on the next layer, five dark prismarine coming back. Now we're going to come over to the other side and work on our inverter box. So starting back here behind the cab on bottom, five deep slate tile walls, and five dark prismarine above it, and another five deep slate tile walls. Then behind this here, we're going to extend out our dark prismarine in our stair pattern of dark prismarine stairs. And we're actually going to knock out the stairs to the inside edge and put yellow concrete in those gaps just so the yellow comes a bit more forward. Then we'll fill in a reverse L shape of yellow concrete right here. Then behind it on bottom, two deep slate tile walls. Then come down to the back of the locomotive, on the third block in from the end in the middle, a yellow concrete, and one kitty corner like that on each side. Raise that up so it's three high, and then two layers of dark prismarine. Swing around in front of it in the middle, three netherite, and three ambits. Then on the side of this, we're going to do a three by three of iron bars. Same thing over here, three by three of iron bars on this side. Then we'll move up, and we can put two layers of dark prismarine coming forward to the front of the iron bar section on each side. Then one across the top middle, a cobbled deep slate, and two dark prismarine back there. A ladder there and there. On this side, above the iron bars, a 3x3 three three of ladders. Then an oak trap door on top of that cobbled deep slate. In front of the iron bars, a column of three yellow concrete on each side. Then on this side, a column of three deep slate tile walls. On this side, an oak stair facing outward, two yellow concrete, 
and then close the jungle trap door on the second block up for the brake wheel. Then two dark prismarine on top of each side. Then up here we're going to make five dark prismarine coming out to each side like this. And then we're going to extend it forward another eight blocks on the side. And then we'll come back across to this side and frame this in. Then we'll put three coming across the middle like this. Then we'll go ahead and fill in with yellow concrete three blocks high to the front of this radiator and fan section. And we'll do the same thing over here. Fill this in to the front of this section three high with yellow concrete. Then that fourth layer up in there needs to be a full row of dark prismarine. Same thing on that side here. Then we'll come up top and fill these middle sections with dark prismarine. Then up in these sections, we're going to put a cobble deep slate in the middle of each one and an oak trap door on top. Then we're going to surround it with a plus shape of polished black stone blocks. Then on top of those, polished black stone slabs to complete the fans. Then we're going to put black carpet down in the gaps in each of the corners of these squares. Now we're going to come fill in this middle section here. So on bottom of each side, we're going to put a full line of yellow concrete. Then starting from the back, two yellow concrete. Then a black concrete. Then two red stone blocks. And then a yellow concrete in front. On the next layer, a yellow concrete on the front. Then two black concrete. And then yellow concrete to the back. Then on this top layer, a black concrete on the front, two redstone blocks, dark prismarine to the back, and then fill the middle with dark prismarine. And actually I'm not quite liking how the logo looks, it needs to be a little bigger, so we're going to edit it slightly here. So we're going to come down here on the back of the logo, and we're going to knock out a column here. So this one, this one, and this one. We'll put redstone, black concrete, redstone. Then this bottom one, replaced with black concrete, so the logo's a little bigger. We'll do the same thing here. So we'll knock out this column. Red, and do a redstone block, black concrete, redstone block. And then knock out that bottom one and put black concrete. Then on top of this, two rows of dark prismarine slabs across the front. In the middle, open back-to-back -back warp fence gates for the horn, and fill the rest of the top of this section with dark prismarine slabs. Then we're going to come down here by the door, and we're going to take out gray carpet. We'll put gray carpet coming across here on this step, and then all the way down this walkway until we get to the back of the locomotive. This corner, a T shape on the end, around this corner, and we come all the way up the walkway on this side. Just keep bringing it forward here, right up to there. Then up here, we put it all across the top of this box, up to the cap. Then on the very front, we do a T shape on the front porch. Then we're going to take out a birch fence, start on bottom in this corner, come up three and over one. Up here, a two by two of warp fence. Same thing here, so up three with birch, over one. And then a two by two of warp fence up here. Then here, a column of four birch fences. And same thing on this side here. Then we'll come down to the back. And it's the same pattern. So a column of four birch right here, and then up three here, and over one. On top, a two by two of warp fences. Same thing over here. So up three with birch right here, and over one. And up four with birch right here. Then up here, a two by two of warp fence. 
then still using our warp fence, we'll connect up right here and bring it all the way up the walkway on this side of the locomotive. When we get right here, we're gonna come up one, over one, up one again, and then over until it connects up with the side of the cab. Then we'll do this side. So connect up back there and bring it all the way up this side. When we get right here, we're gonna come up three and then start coming over again until it connects up with the cab on this side here. Then we're gonna come up to the front. We're gonna put a glow item frame on each of these fences with glowstone for ditch lights. Then a glow item frame on the top middle with glowstone for a headlight. Then we're gonna take out a dark oak sign on the side of it with our locomotive number, which is 1995. And same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna hit those with white dye and then a glowing set. Then, under the window here, we're gonna put one sign with capital U, capital P, and then another warp sign with 1995. Then we'll hit those with white dye and a glowing set. Then we'll come and do the same thing over here. So under the windows, a warp sign with capital U, capital P. I was having some trouble here. So capital U, capital P. And then another sign with 1995. Then hit those with white dye and then a glowing sack. Then we'll come down and work on the back. So go ahead and come on down to the rear end here. And on the second block down in the middle, we'll put a glow item frame with glowstone for a rear headlight. Then one on each of these fences with glowstone for rear ditch lights. Then on the top corner, a warp sign with 1995 and same thing on the other side. Then hit those both with white dye and then a glowing sack. Underneath the headlight on the middle here, we're gonna close two oak trap doors. Then on top of the yellow on each side, a polished black stone button. Now we have some stripes to do. So right here on the top edge of the yellow concrete, we're gonna start placing blank birch signs coming all the way back. We're going to go all the way around the locomotive with that to the other side on front. One right here. And then when we get right here, two on the side of the yellow on this inverter box. I tried doing the stripes with banners, but it looked like too much of a cluster especially because the greens don't match. So I decided to do the stripes this way. Sometimes in Minecraft, it's the details you leave out that make a bill. Now we're gonna make a banner. So come on into a loom here with a yellow banner, white dye. A white horizontal stripe. Switch to red dye and do a red diamond. Switch to black dye and do a black circle. Then we're gonna take a white banner and red dye and put red stripes on it then switch to blue dye and make the top half blue. Then we'll come place these. So this yellow one goes on the front middle to represent the logo. And then this one represents the UP shield. We're gonna come up where this vent section is and we're gonna skip to the fourth block forward and hang it. Same thing here, skip to the fourth block forward from where that brake wheel is. Now we're gonna come work on the interior here. So go ahead and come in through this nose door. We'll put an end portal in that corner for the toilet. Then take smooth sandstone slabs and stack them up right here till it reaches the window. Same thing on this side. Then on the side here, stack your slabs up two blocks tall. And same thing over there. And in this back middle. Then use your slabs right here to make a staircase going down. In the back, 
we're going to put a stair on each side for seats, a blast furnace back here in the middle with a glowstone above it. Over here, a slab for a conductor desk, a glow item frame with an end crystal, and then a lever for the engineer. Then we'll come down through here and go ahead and place a door right there. And now the interior is completed here. Then one more thing I forgot to do, come to the back on top here and surround this oak trap door with iron trap doors for the back fan there. And there we have it folks. We've completed Union Pacific 1995, the Chicago Northwestern Heritage Unit. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.